Cameroon's industrial aquaculture. Welcome to the Business in Africa news update, the place where you get all the latest news about business on the African continent. And if you are new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button to join the Business in Africa community. Don't go anywhere, keep watching. Cameroon imports around 180,000 tons of fish per year. That's according to the National Institute of Statistics. The import is valued at over 200 million US dollars. The Central African nation produces more than 1 million tons of fish a year, but it remains dependent on fish imported from Senegal, Mauritania, and Ireland. In Cameroon's southwest, a young entrepreneur has begun an industrial aquaculture project. Boris Kamgo hopes to help the country cut down on fish imports. We are training as many young people as possible to switch to industrial production. To reduce as much as possible the imports that are destroying our currency. And what we are doing now is to expand following the call for expression of interest that the government has launched to increase intensive production in Cameroon and in the sub-region. Kamgo told our correspondent in southwest region of Cameroon. Young entrepreneurs like Boris Kamgo believe that small farms like this one will make Cameroon self-sufficient because with small farms, Cameroonians will be able to produce more and be less dependent on foreign imports. Hello guys, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of my videos on the Business in Africa YouTube channel. I call it a Rufus Exchange, right? We just come here so that we exchange business ideas and talk about strategies. And of course, I come here to also do videos that you requested, right? So in this video, I'll be doing a video that um, one of my subscribers, one of the subscribers to this channel actually requested. Now he wanted to know what it would take to do a grocery store or to set up a grocery store in Douala, Cameroon. He was very precise. I'm sure it's somebody who lives in Cameroon. I don't know you, but thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for commenting. It implies that you actually watch my videos to the end because I always say that drop me your comments for the videos that you want me to do, like the topics that you want me to do. I'm here for you guys, okay? I'll do a research and then I'll come back with a video based on that. So in this video, I'll be talking about grocery store. In fact, if I do that, let me read his comments, okay? He's called Nestorkam Sakwe Roland. Nestorkam Sakwe Roland. I salute you guys. I know you want to start up a grocery store in Douala, right? And I'll try as much as possible to answer this question. I'm based in Douala. So I'm sure if you want to do this business here, we can actually work together. I can support you as much as I can. What he said was, I want to know how to start up a grocery store in Douala. Thank you in advance. Voila. So simply you just drop the comments and I pick that up and I'm doing a video based on that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Rufo Chifu. I'm the CEO founder of HR and Systems Limited, a consultancy based uh, company. We are here in Douala, but we do consultancy for businesses all over Africa, right? So if you want to set up a business in Nigeria, Ghana, Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, you can contact us. Let's talk about your business setup, okay? Because that's what we do. We do feasibility studies, we do business plans, we do um, uh, supplier plus clients negotiations and we do company formation services and we can just manage your startup like give you the support um, to start up your project right up to it starts growing right and you start making some money so that's what we do here at HRN system so you can contact us anytime and we are going to be of service to you okay that said if you're new to this channel please please make sure you click on the subscribe button there is no reason why you should be watching me and not subscribing join the community join the business in Africa community let's talk business on the African continent so click on the subscribe button right now before I come back after the break don't go anywhere I'll be right back hello guys hello my business in Africa YouTube community my name is Rufo Chifu I always talk about the best business ideas to invest in Africa and I have been having a lot of questions from investors like you asking me which African country should I invest in I therefore decided to create this 
If you are an investor and you want to invest in Africa, then you need this tool. Click on the links in the description box below and download your own copy. So guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I'm doing this video for Nestor Cam Sacre Roland. Guys, he's one of my subscribers who wanted to know what it would take to set up a grocery store business in Douala. Now, grocery store, you guys know what grocery store is, right? A grocery store is just um, a store that sells anything that has to do with food items like household food items okay it can be fresh it can be dried or you can do the both okay so it just depends so most supermarkets in Douala like you know like the curry foods like like the the uh, super use I mean like the Santa Lucia's all of them they are like kind of like grocery shops because they sell their supermarkets but they are kind of like big okay so i don't know what you wanted sakwe what i wanted um uh, me to talk about the small one or the big one but it all depends on what you want okay it's the same thing they have goods that they sell in there they buy them stock them in and then retail okay so that's basically what you're going to find in grocery stores but before you get into that i just wanted to know this i'm not kind of discouraging you i'm just trying to like let you know the realities like there are some real challenges for this kind of business okay um i have mentored so many of these kind of businesses small ones and there are real challenges that the first challenge is that you have to deal with stock so managing stock on a daily basis if you don't have a good system it's good stock management system you can be thinking that you're making money whereas you are not okay now the second challenge is that um it depends on a lot on where your store is located okay so if you can't have a very good location for your store where there's traffic you might just end up you know winding down because people who want to pass on the road and then just see your store and then I mean it's where you're going to have like walking customers it has to be very convenient for where people can actually stop pack and then you know buy from you and then they continue to their homes okay now that's the second challenge that you're going to have now the third challenge <clears throat> now the third challenge that you're going to have with this kind of business is that it has a very low margin like you buy you buy a pack of maggi for 100 francs and sell it for 110 francs so the margins are very low so if you cannot really like manage your stock very well and sell in volumes you might not really make a lot of profits of course and then the last challenge that my face is customer service we have a lot of customer service problems here and the moment a customer doesn't feel satisfied they are going to move straight to the next place so there's a lot of competition okay so these are some of the challenges that i going to find in this business but of course as I usually say, go for it if you want to go for it. Now, I'm going to give you the steps. I call it the first five or the five steps that you need to start up this kind of business. But I'm going, I, I always add step zero, which is like what you need to do before you go to step one, which is feasibility studies and business plan. Now, this stage is where you write your feasibility study report, right? Like you go out there and actually do some research or you can i mean after doing the research and then you come up with some kind of business plan 